For our next guest, what started off as child's play between their two kids took a life-threatening turn they never could have imagined. Now they say that child's play saved their three-year-old son, McLean's life. Take a look. A few months ago, my five-year-old daughter, Lola Bell, accidentally kicked my three-year-old son, McLean, off the couch. He hit the back of his head pretty hard. The doctor said he had suffered a minor concussion. A couple of weeks later, my wife and I noticed that there was something off about McLean. The pediatrician told us that he might have slow bleeding in his brain from the fall and that we needed to go to the hospital and have an MRI done. After the MRI, the doctor came in the room. She had asked us to take a seat and that's when, honestly, my heart sunk. She then proceeded to tell us that our three-year-old son was diagnosed with a brain tumor and that he needed to be airlifted immediately to a hospital. I didn't know how to act and how to feel. We were in shock. At that moment, it felt like our whole lives were collapsing down in front of us. They then determined that he had hydrocephalus. He needed to undergo immediate surgery to have an external ventricular drain implanted in his brain to relieve the pressure. A radiologist thought it was a tumor located in the fourth ventricle. She told us it would be unlikely that they would be able to resect the entire tumor. They discussed with us that there could be permanent blindness. McLean would be unable to walk ever again. We didn't know if he was ever going to be the same little boy again. The next day, the surgery happened, and they had planned on it being 20 plus hours. Seven hours into the surgery, they had called us with the best news that we could ever expect to hear. The tumor came out in one piece and they couldn't believe how well the surgery went. When we saw McLean for the first time, we were so thankful that we were able to see our son and that he pulled through that surgery. It was one of the greatest moments of our lives. He worked with a physiotherapist in the hospital. During that process, we had decided we're gonna see if this kid can walk. My wife and I were like, okay, let's go, let's get it. Well, McLean took those steps and he has not let anything stop him. Holly and her husband, Jeffrey, are joining us via Skype. Thank you so much for sharing this story with that. us. And obviously, we're so happy that McLean got the care that he needed, but you credit your daughter, Lola Bell, for, for saving his life. Explain that. If she would not have kicked him off of the couch when she did, we don't know when we would have even found the brain tumor and if it would have been too late, possibly. So it was just a miracle that she really, you know, saved his life. And how is McLean doing now? He is doing amazing. Honestly, his recovery is coming along remarkable. And honestly, we credit Lola Bell uh, as well with just being his best medicine, truly. You know, when she came to visit him in the hospital after his surgery, his face lit up. And she really was the one that put a smile on his face. And when he saw her running around his hospital room, he wanted to get out of that bed and he wanted to play with her yeah. so badly. So she was just his best medicine all around.